Hey everyone, my name is Chris. Thank you for joining me here at BZB Gear on BZB TV. Today we're going to be discussing some educational solutions as well as products that are perfect for many schools out there looking to do distance learning or reach some people that aren't able to make it in class essentially. Um, I would like to demonstrate some products that BZB Gear offers, essentially making us a one-stop manufacturer. By stopping at BZB Gear, you can pretty much get everything you need, alleviating the requirements to go to multiple manufacturers, getting different products, which can result sometimes in a tech support headache, meaning that you have to call one manufacturer for the camera and another manufacturer for the production switcher or the cable or whatever's going on, you're troubleshooting. Nobody wants to do that. We all know that's no fun tech support as much as we love our guys. Um, it's no more fun for them than it is for you. In this video, I'm going to provide you with some key information regarding the requirements for an effective live stream in order to reach your students remotely. A high quality stream will ensure students feel involved when they're not able to be there physically present. So let's get started. Take a look at some of our uh, PTZ cameras. We have one that is our flagship educational camera installed in universities at this time and other school systems. It's very budget friendly. It's known as the BG VPTZ HSU3. This guy here basically offers you a few different types of connections on the back, including HDMI, SDI, we got USB 3.0, and we have auxiliary in for microphone, um, and some control connections, and of course a LAN port. This LAN port is PoE, that means power over ethernet, like all of our cameras except for a couple, which we're not talking about today, so it doesn't matter, but um, essentially you don't need power supply. So that's very convenient, especially when you're installing cameras, and and say the contractor is a low voltage contractor, you don't have the ability to run an electrical outlet with a bunch of headaches, well, you don't need it. And if you're not connecting to what's called a PoE network switch, you can use what's called a PoE injector, which essentially is a power adapter, connect the Cat5, Cat6 cable, run it to your camera, and the guy's powered up. These things use about 13.5 watts of power, so very low wattage draw. So for control of a BG VPTZ, that's always a big question for our teachers and professors out there. They go, hey, great, I got this camera. It's given an amazing image, 1080p. Um, everything's happy there, but how do I get this thing to do what I want it to do? Well, it does come with an IR remote, which is a very common way for teachers to utilize PTZ camera functions by just simply pointing at them. That's good up to about 30 feet. If that works for you, you can utilize the remote. It also offers presets, meaning that you can preset a scene, say the teacher's desk as number one. You can set up, say, a touch board as preset number two, and maybe the students as preset number three, or a product that you're demonstrating. And it's as simple as hitting preset, selecting the number, Number, going back to call that number and you're right where you need to be for that shot. So a very common way to do it. Uh, we also offer a free BG PTZ control program. So what that means is you can download it for your Apple mobile devices. There's also a program for PCs and Mac computers. So as long as your camera's networked, that means it's you know basically talking through your network there, uh, these control programs will work. So it's also a great feature if you have a laptop in front of you, giving lessons, it's basically a little window, you open it up, and you decide what you want the camera to do. So saying that, as I mentioned, you have these presets. Some people actually prefer um, a two-camera setup, meaning that you have one camera that's based on the professor or the instructor, and another camera that basically is a static image of the touch board or products you're demonstrating or, again, the students. A camera that's great to couple with the BG VPTZ is the BG EPTZ dash UH 4K. I know the models get a little confusing, but that's why we show them over here for you. The BG VPTZ can be used as a standalone, or you can utilize it with our BG EPTZ UH 4K. This guy here has an HDMI output and a USB 3.0. It's great for static shots. So if you want to set it up on a tripod, it's got a nice little tripod mountable hole there, quarter inch and you can point it, great wide angle, 4K image. Of course, if you're streaming in 1080p, it won't be 4K, but it still looks really clean and amazing. Um, so great little camera for catching those touch boards or your students in the background, while simultaneously having the main camera, uh, the VPTZ in this instance, focused on the instructor. 
Now, there's one, can, one uh, little catch to having a two camera setup. And what that is, is you can only put one camera into your conference apps at a time. Meaning you see that little drop down box. If you've ever had a uh, web camera, you know you select it and it drops it in there. However, in order to have two cameras, you're gonna need another device in the middle of that. And what that will do is allow those two cameras to plug in and then you can create what's called a multi-view. So that will window pane your TV. So you have four different windows or two, depending on what you want to do. Um, meaning if you had four windows, you could actually add a laptop, say a PowerPoint or an Excel spreadsheet um, or a website that you wanted to show. Uh, so the multi-viewer is very handy. Our multi-viewer is the BG MV 41A offering four HDMI inputs on the back as well as an HDMI output on the front. Very simple to control, uh, makes life easy. And if you utilize this, say you had the two windows, one on the touch board, one on the teacher, you could actually um, stream that that way. So when your students are watching you, they're actually seeing you, but they're also seeing the touch board simultaneously in two windows. So a very convenient way to go. Uh, our multi-viewer, this is our inexpensive budget one, and it retails starting, I believe, is about $299. Um, so again, keeping you within that budget for right there, you're at about $1,300 or so, uh, $1,400 with the camera and the multi-viewer. Another technology that schools are adapting to are auto tracking cameras. However, auto tracking cameras are relatively expensive still, typically well over the $2,000 mark per unit. Um, so between that and the extensive setup that's involved with an auto tracking camera, it can be time consuming, which then costs money. Knowing this, BZB Gear has decided to develop what's called the BG Maestro. The BG Maestro is a camera that is an EPTZ auto tracking camera, providing an array of connections, including SDI output, USB 3.0, and LAN for connecting to the web. This guy here basically uses a software program that can be set up in under 15 minutes. We actually have a video on that. You can watch on the how-to or have your IT guy check it out or your integrator. Um, but very simple camera to set up and it just works great. Once it's set up, you're done, you walk away and you really don't have to mess with it uh, ever again unless you create a different scene or a different situation. So this uh, having a camera on our ceiling or a tripod, typically cameras are mounted about 25, 30 feet away in distance. So the big question becomes, okay, so we got this camera, we put it up on our ceiling and it sounds like a great idea. How do we get the signal from that camera to our instructor's laptop or the teacher's laptop where the conference platforms are running such as Echo 360 or Google Classroom? Um, there's gotta be a way to actually send that signal there. Well, most cables have some type of limitation. So we have a few different methods for you we're gonna go over. First one being USB 3.0. So USB 3.0 is, the, is uh, the same type of cable. Well, we used to have USB 2.0. It looks a little different than our 2.0s, but essentially it does high-speed data transfer. It works great for web cameras and other devices, but it can be very temperamental in general if it's extended over 12 feet. So the limitation of a USB 3.0 is 12 feet. If you're gonna go beyond that, you're gonna to have to look into USB 3.0 active cables. And the active cables essentially are a cable that allows the signal to go a longer distance than say the 12 feet. Um, however, it can get relatively pricey, typically starting around $200 for a 33 foot cable. And on top of that, I'll be honest, they can be a little more temperamental. USB 3.0, if you ever connect it into your computer with uh, the cable, you can say sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't. Well, when you're turning your computer off and on, you're leaving for the day, you're unconnecting it, you're connecting it, but it can sometimes create a few issues there where you have to do it a couple times. Um, so we don't typically recommend using USB 3.0 for long distances over 12 feet, unless that's just the only situation that's gonna um, work out for you. Uh, what we do recommend is what I was mentioning earlier is running such like an SDI uh, connection. Both these cameras, our VPTZ and our Maestro offer the SDI connections and what that is again is that cable that's very durable, it's very common, installers, integrators make it on, the, on, the, uh, on site. It's got locking connectors so once you fasten that it's not falling off. Um, so great cable, great way to do things, however you know, obviously if you looked at your computer, you're not gonna see this round SDI connection. You are gonna need what's called a capture device. 
So we make what's called a uh, BGCSA, and what that is is SDI uh, to USB 3.0. And that will allow that camera feed to get into your computer where you can select it using your conference program in the drop down box. So um, if you didn't want to do SDI cabling, another option which we're all very familiar with is HDMI. HDMI cables have been around forever. We've been using them ever since uh, 1080p um, uh, for years and years, as long as I can remember working in the TV industry. However, they also can be a little temperamental for long runs. They say HDMI cables can go up to 50 feet, but really it also depends on the device and the quality of the cable. We here at BZB Gears recommend HDMI cables typically no longer than 25 feet uh, because we get calls all the time. People call us and they're going, hey, I got this HDMI cable with this uh, camera or this DVD player and it's not working. And the first question is, how long is it? They say 40 feet, you go, probably that HDMI cable, um, not the best way to go long distances. So a long time ago, um, HDMI extenders were developed and we sell a few different uh, versions. And what I mean by HDMI extender is it's a transmitter and a receiver unit. And what it does is it uses CAT6 or CAT5E cable to go from one unit, the transmitter for instance, to the receiver. Now, depending on which HDMI extender you go with, there are different um, specs on lengths, how far it will travel. For instance, this is our BGEXH50. These go 165 feet in distance. So if you're under 165 feet for your CAT6 run, this will work for you just fine, which in classrooms, again, it's only typically 30, but you gotta keep in mind, you're going across the ceiling, you're dropping down, you're coming out of a wall, so always add another 15, 20 feet um, to like a 25, 30 foot run, just in case. So HDMI extenders, again, they, they typically retail from about 199 to 499, even higher than that, but uh, we've got one budget friendly for about $199, the one I just mentioned. Works really nice. It's even got a, a loop out for the HDMI on the transmitter. So if you had another uh, monitor you wanted to run it to, you could do that. And finally, the other method for transmitting in school systems is known as RTPS, I'm sorry, RTSP. That is real time streaming protocol. And what that utilizes is that LAN connection on the back of the camera and it's a protocol so basically it has to be set up into the web interface and essentially it's a copy paste uh, we have a video on it but it shows you how to drop that stream into your conference program or if you're using obs studios whatever platform you're using you can stream without anything else needed so you hook up a cat 5 or cat 6 cable to the camera it's going to give it power you're going to be able to stream the video um, it's typically used in like surveillance so really cool, but it does not uh, work with control. So RTSP is a video feed essentially. So if you have a network in your school system, ask your IT guy, but essentially um, if you're putting a lot of cameras on the network, it's gonna take a lot of bandwidth. We recommend a 10 gigabit network in order to handle multiple cameras using RTSP streams. We do have some schools out there that are using it this way and they seem very happy and it's very reliable is the nice thing about it. So you've got your cameras. Um, now you need to figure out how you're gonna deal with audio. Meaning, you know, you obviously wanna hear the conversations. You wanna be able to talk to the students. A uh, laptop microphone or, or speakers is not typically sufficient. BZB Gear has a couple products. One being the BG SMB 4M. This device here will allow you to communicate with the speaker and the mic built in. It works on uh, on USB as well as 3.5 audio and it actually uh, has Bluetooth. So really cool if you're looking at utilizing Bluetooth. The only concern sometimes I think of, I'm like, okay, when I was a student, what would I have done? I may have tried to hack into that speaker with my laptop using my USB uh, Bluetooth connection. So if you have that concern, we make another device called the BG SMB 5M. This one actually uses an adapter with RF frequency, so you connect this to your computer, transmits a signal, and you're good to go. It also offers extensions in, extension twos, and USB 3.0 connection. So really cool speaker phone here. Uh, kids can't hack into it because it's actually connected to this guy, which is connected to your computer. 
So obviously you need some kind of audio. Those are two great options you can check out. You just gotta decide if you want Bluetooth or if you want the RF, um, or if you're gonna use USB 3.0. You can always connect it to your laptop. It's a 12 foot uh, limitation on those cables again, so maybe you can get it far enough to reach, no big deal. Uh, however, if you wanna run it up on the ceiling, you gotta think about uh, which one's the best for you. So in addition to the products that we discussed today uh, regarding the cameras and the speaker phones and the transmitters, uh, we have multiple cameras offered out there on our website. You can check out our website. Um, we've got a few different versions of cameras depending on your budget. The VPTZ, again, we find educators love it. It works great. It's a crystal clean image. Starts at about $10.99. So really hard to beat the price. BCB Gear also works with integrators. Um, as well as other companies, like online resellers, so forth. You can check out our authorized where to buy. So if you have an integrator that you work with on a regular basis and you're interested in us talking to him about our products or design for your classroom or school, give us a call. We're always happy to help out. We can give you some suggestions. We can recommend products, um, possible other methods for hooking things up. Uh, we can always help out. So just let us know if you or your integrators would like some more information, contact us here at BZB Gear. You can contact info at bzbgear.com or support at bzbgear.com. Give us a call. Um, that's pretty much it, folks. So hopefully this helps shed some light on how to set up your classroom, how to set up your school, and make sure that your students, if they're not able to make it in, they can have a clear, precise understanding of what you're teaching. Thanks again for being great teachers and instructors out there. We appreciate everything you do. Have a great day.